We are so humbled. Like, we are close to tears with the turnout because this is representative of the power that lies within you. We are not an organization. We don't have a list of fancy credentials, but what we lacked in credentials, we made up for in passion. And every single person here, every single person here can represent Trayvon Martin's family. What they're going through, what they're experiencing is incomprehensible, disgusting, cruel, and evil. Angle family, what's up? This is Paige Hernandez. And as always on The Angle, we bring you the most significant and important stories. And today, we're here for the rally for Trayvon Martin, the 17-year-old who was shot dead in Florida almost a month ago. We're here actually uh, in Freedom Plaza, but the actual rally is happening right in front of the Wilson Building. And it's, it's a somber mood here. It's definitely one of power. It's very touching. Um, but we're here to do the right thing, and that's to stand out against what we feel is an injustice. My brothers and my sisters, if you allow us in this moment that we did not want to go any further, I'm in this moment uh, to not deal with the fact that there was a tragedy that brought us here. There was a tragedy that brought us here, and we could deal with tragedy if justice had been served. It would have still been a tragedy, it would have still been a hard story, but at the end of the day, we know that sick people do sick things. But the problem we're facing right now is not just sick people doing sick things, but a sick system that will not allow justice to be heard. And so there's a need for us, even as we chant and even as we sing and even as we protest, that we also need to remember this family that is dealing with this tragedy and trying to move past this tragedy in the midst of injustice. So if you were with me, we would like to put our hoodies up, bow our heads and have a moment of silence for the life, the memory of Brother Trayvon Martin. Because sisters and brothers, one thing that we know, folks don't believe that you're hurting until you say ouch. Folks don't believe that you can win anything or you have any dignity until you're ready to stand up. We're standing up today because we are all Trayvon Martins. We're standing up today because one thing that is true is that racism has been pervasive in this country since the first folks set their foot on Plymouth Rock and it has been maturing and moving ever since. When, the, when, when we elected President Obama, all the pundits on TV said, oh now we're in a post-racial era. Well, a post-racial era where you don't have to have a Klan robe, but you can be Rush Limbaugh on the radio, or you can be John Beck. There you go. You see, you see, what has happened is that racism has become so insidious, and when you mix guns with race and racism, you're bound to have a disaster happen. And sisters and brothers, one thing that we know is that folks are used to shooting down black folk and never going to jail. We know the history around that, but we're here to say that enough is enough. It is a brand new day in America. We're gonna stand up and we're gonna stand shoulder to shoulder with one another and we're not gonna let anybody die in vain. Are you ready to stand up? Are you ready to stand up? Who will cry for the little boy walking home from the store? Who will cry for the little boy with potential galore? Who will cry for the little boy armed with Skittles and tea? Who will cry for the little boy harmless as can be? Who will cry for the little boy 140 pounds? Who will cry for the little boy on gated community grounds. Who will cry for the little boy? What makes him seem so suspicious? Who will cry for the little boy? 
gunned down by a man so vicious. So we've come to the end of the rally here for Trayvon Martin. Um, it's been a fascinating rally, one of camaraderie, one of community. We heard some great speeches, some awesome spoken word, different poems, uh, different points of view from different people in the family. Uh, it's been really terrific just to have that camaraderie, holding hands and making sure that we say what we feel in a time of injustice. Um, we'll see what happens next. Keep your fingers crossed. April 10th is the next big date. I say you check back into the angle to see what you can do. You can also sign petitions and check it out online. Either way, we're here to make sure that justice will be served. Stay tuned to the angle.